Dad, you will talk to him, won't you? Well, I'll do the best I can. But are you sure there isn't anything between you and this Nick fellow? Oh, of course I'm sure. David's imagining things. Well, like I said, I'll do everything I can. But I'm not doing it because you asked me to. I'm doing it because I, I think David would make a fine son-in-law. Oh. Thanks, Dad. I'll see you later. Pretty tight. Yeah. Well, Doc, how does it look? Oh, I've seen worse. Well, let's face it, Doc. Uh, Another very pretty sight of him. Well, you're going to need some work. It's amazing the things they do these days with plastic surgery. What about Nell and me? If we got a chance? Well, that's up to you, Dave. But I will tell you one thing. Nell loves you very much. You're not helping matters by not talking with her or concerning your future together. Doc, look at me. Look at me and tell me honestly what you see. You know what I see, David. There's your answer. Like I said, you're, you're going to need some work, plastic surgery. But with it, I'm sure your problem's only a matter of a few months at most. No, doubt. No, I love Nell too much to hold her to any obligation I might have put on her before this happened, so... Maybe you better tell her to forget me. <laughs> you're exaggerating, son. Other people have had accidents worse than yours. They managed. Sorry, Doc, I've made up my mind. Why don't you let your friends help you, David? <laughs> 